We always uh, begin our practice with the thought of the day at the center circle. And uh, the circle represents unity. Uh, a circle has no, no top, no bottom. Uh, everybody is equal. Everybody has a job to do. Uh, everybody has a role. And we're all interdependent on each other. Interdependent means we have to work together. Uh, it's not dependent. It's not independent. It's interdependent. We're all working together towards a common goal. Once we've completed the, the thought of the day, uh, we will immediately begin practice and hopefully have a lot of energy to start. Uh, we, we want to always emphasize the execution of fundamentals, both defensively, offensively, as well as rebounding. I hope you will enjoy watching this DVD, our full access for George Mason basketball and our practice and preparation. 17 years ago, I, I realized there were some things that we needed to do to establish some continuity in our basketball program. We came up with a philosophy uh, based on three words, attitude, commitment, and class. We wanted all of our players to demonstrate a positive attitude, make a total commitment to being the best that they could be and help our team be the best that it could be, and to always behave in a first-class manner. We take great pride in our players' behavior on and off the floor. In addition to that, we came up with 10 commitments, things that we felt our teams needed to do each and every season. The 10 commitments have not changed in the last 17 years. They are simply this. Commitment number one, we will set our defense every time. It's so important to get back and set your defense to be sure five guys are back playing as one. Commitment number two, we will pressure the man with the ball. Anybody who's guarding a man with the ball has to stick with him and pressure him. Commitment number three, we will pack the lane to prevent penetration. Penetration comes in four ways. Dribble penetration, passing penetration, cutting penetration, and rebound penetration. We need to prevent all four. We'll do that by packing the lane with four help defenders while one man is pressuring the ball. Our fourth commitment is we will contest all shots hands high without fouling. We want to contest shots, but we do not want to foul shooters. We emphasize that, and we have become one of the best at not fouling in the country. The year we went to the Final Four, we were in the top 10 in the country in defending without fouling. Commitment number five is we will block out, rebound, and run. It's so important to end the defensive possession with a rebound, and then that will create our fast break opportunities. Commitment number six is we will run for layups and open threes. We try to condition our, our players we try to create the habit of getting out and running the lanes. We refer to it as running the racetrack, that it's a race to beat the opponent down the floor, first looking for a layup and then an open three. Number seven, we will share the ball. There's only one basketball, five guys on the court must share it to get a great shot. Number eight, we will penetrate the defense. Just like we're trying to prevent penetration, we're going to try to create penetration at the offensive end on every single possession. Number nine, we will create good shots both inside and outside. It's very important to us to have balance in our offensive attack. We want our inside guys to establish an inside game, but we also want to give a green light to our shooters on the perimeter. Balance at the half-court level, inside and outside, is a key to good offense. And number 10, our final commitment of the 10 commitments is we will attack the offensive boards. Even though we may get good shots, we may not always make the shot, and we want to have our rebounders get to the offensive boards each and every time. These 10 commitments are on these boards at practice every day. Each of our players is responsible for learning them and reciting them when I ask them. It's very, very important that our players have a crystal clear picture of what we're trying to accomplish. 
The first five commitments have to do with defense, stopping the opponent from scoring. The next five have to do with offense and working towards us putting the ball in the basket a high percentage of the time.